Slammerboy256, that channel. Uh, it's the other channel that's linked to it. Okay. Alright. Wait, that Straight one's linked to it? The, the oh, other Twister channel. Gaming. Twist, no, not Twister Gaming. Uh, Twister WX on channels. Uh, look up Twister. Uh, I'll just send you the link. Give me a second. I'll just send you a link to the stream. Alright. Oh, Twister WX. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Alright. Alright. You were in a tornado one? That was a... Four months ago? Yeah, a few months ago, yeah. Alright. So, today we're going to be talking about... I have multiple, multiple issues with how the media portrays, um, like, tornado documentaries and, and the sorts. Because, like, the fact of... That media only focuses on like, how do I say this? They only focus on one aspect of the tornado outbreak. It's usually the one tornado and never the whole scope. I know that there's a time constraint, but like, at least mention it. Like I know, yeah, you know, some other documentaries like Alfuria and Weatherbox and all that stuff do a great job at mentioning and even going into some some amount of detail on the other tornadoes and even go into that one hour cons uh, time constraint. But, like, just the TV media broadcasts just aren't able to do it for some reason, and I don't know why. Do you have anything to add on to that? Uh, no, I do not. Like, if we go on... Well, I, I mean, I feel like, in my opinion, they all they try to fit the biggest, most main tornado yes, into the, one. Yes, but the problem is they do it for an... Like, they, that's the only thing they focus on. They don't even barely even mention like they know they have not even a single mention of of like other tornadoes yeah. with that note yeah Th i mean it is possible that they do different uh documentaries on the other ones yeah but i have seen no such thing because like if you look up 2011 documentary the only two things that ever come up like i've i've done i've done a deep deep dive into this only two documentaries that ever come up, types of them. You either have your Draplin documentary, or you either have your Tuscaloosa documentary. There's no mention of, like, any stronger tornadoes, like, per se, Piedmont. There's nothing on there. Chickasha, Gold Goldsboro, uh, Gold Goldsby, um, H Hackleburg, Phil Campbell, Smithville, Philadelphia, Rainsville. They all have so much footage on them and not a single mention. Or, like, even a separate documentary on those tornadoes. They just go on, oh, this was the main event. Move on to, like, the next thing. It, it's, it kind of angers me how that happens. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what the issue with that is. Uh, hold on a second. But if I got a death in real quick, I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, let me just pull up the first example. How I say. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up something. Uh, Alright, so we're on 2011. You see here. Um, now, you know, you have some outbreaks and all that and stuff. You have finally some starting to mention this. But, say, I attempt to look up this. June 18th. What was it? What was it? June... Yeah, June 20th. Let's see. Anything? You know, this wasn't a well-known event, but, like, whenever I even look up June, like, 2011... Immediately, what comes up? Joplin documentary, Tuscaloosa documentary, and just you know general overview documentary. Like I yes, there's footage and all that, but like I mean this this I don't think this is a really good example actually because these weren't very well known tornadoes. How about I head to let's see ah here we go here's one. Please tell me they have a documentary on this. 
again. Yet they have videos of it. If I go, actually, you know what? Even more specific. May 2011. Here we are. Look at this. Here's where my point is. I look up May 2011. The only thing I see is Joplin. There's no mention of the day. There's no mention at all of, like... I didn't even a single mention of Piedmont. If I go into more specifics... Oh, there's our first mention. Oh, God. Oh, okay, but that's just the tornado itself. There's no mention of, like, anything else, I don't think. I mean, I guess there is mentions, but, like... It's all... It's all just Joplin. It's all Joplin. And there, there, there's... Okay. Yeah, Smithville. Okay, there's something on Smithville, but that's just, like, a second by second... El Reno, 2013, not even related to that year. Gerald. Give me at least... Oh, God. Piedmont. Uh, give me Piedmont. Okay. There we go. Oh, my God. <sighs> Two. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, this is... Uh, oh, that's just tornado coverage. Oh, my God. It's frustrating that... You know, say I head on to um, April 27, 2011, tornado documentary. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's disaster documentaries have to be accurate. Say we head on April's Fury, a very popular document. Everyone knows this. Um, let me just scan through it. Coleman. That's one of them that's always mentioned. That is all just... Is this something different? No. Wait. Like, the all, only tornado they show is Coleman. And, uh... Tuscaloosa. Like... Where's Hackleburg? Where? Hackleburg, the strongest tornado of the day. Not even a single mention. <sighs> Same here. Oh, Philadelphia's Philadelphia is mentioned here, but like, again, if we go to the you know April twenty seventh portion of this, uh, see, there's a brief mention of like you know Philadelphia, Rose Hill, Mississippi. Then the rest of the entire video is just Tuscaloosa. Nothing else. Like, I'd say at least a quarter of this video is just Tuscaloosa. Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes of this video is Tuscaloosa alone. Why not give that, you know, time... You know, briefly cover Tuscaloosa because it's been talked about like how many bajillions of times by now. Uh, and maybe shed light on some other tornadoes, like, uh, you know, maybe, uh, Hackleburg, Ringgold. Do any of you even know what, what Dunlap City is? Does Dunlap City come to the mind when someone mentions April 27th, 2011? Like, Oh no, like, there is so many tornadoes that not even a single person, not even a single documentary barely even talks about. And, you know, these tornadoes changed lives. They did damage and, like, it, they just forgotten completely. No, everyone just like, oh, Tuscaloosa, that's, that's, that's April 27th, 2011. When I say Dunlap City, they're all scratching their heads like, what the hell is he speaking about? I, I just don't get it why we can't focus on the outbreak, you know, as a whole. And to go back to a good example of what one should be. Right here. Perfect example. 20 minutes covers the basic overview of what happened the days prior. Some of them mentions a lot of the strong and significant tornadoes that day and what they did to some damage. And they he perfectly covered it in a 25-minute documentary 
and most of these one-hour documentaries don't even get get a chance to shine light on the other tornadoes. This one's from like one year ago. It's just Coleman and Tuscaloosa. Like, are you kidding me? Just, uh, I know you show the damage, but why can't you? Uh, it's frustrating. I am frustrated with how they are doing this. Why? Just why? Like, I'm giving examples here. Alright, let's see. So, I really want to wait for people to get in here. I know people aren't. Most likely. And I'm just waiting here. <sighs> you know, people say, oh, well, if, if people say, oh, there's no footage of so-and-so tornado. That's because if you don't see it, that's because you haven't looked for it. Like, oh, you like you say, oh, where's the footage for Dunlap City? You say. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Here's some footage of it. Here's some footage. Look. Radar coverage right there of that. Oh my god, where? God, why? Internet, just actually. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Now I'm even more. Yeah. Ah! Then the actual heck just happened. Okay. Anyways, actually, what's going on? So, yeah, I'm looking for anything with Dunlap City, please, please, Dunlap City. Okay. Why? Oh my God! There's not even footage of it. I know there's aftermath footage somewhere of this. I found it before. Let me just—you look for. Okay, let's see. Dunlap City is that's Watumka. That's Spring City. No, that's that's not Dunlap City. Dunlap. T N E F four. Let's see. Still nothing. Let's see. Spring City T N. I know there's something around here somewhere. Ah. Um, why? This this is making me a little bit more angry. Ah, uh, come on. There's not even any reasons. Green. Is that Green County? Yeah, it was a high-end EF4. Uh, Walden Ridge. Let's try this. Walden Ridge, Pikeville, New Harmony. Okay, this is making me angry because this is. It's probably buried deep, deep within the internet. And I'm just not able to see it. Let's see. Don't laugh. Let's look for it. Is there any image of Dunlap? Please tell me. Ringgold. I'm shocked. Not even a single mention of Dunlap. Wait. Let's try to do my piece of news. There's word with Dunlap would be right there. 
But where? Please at least show me some damage. Dunlap, 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 Dunlap. Where's the EFOs? Okay, it's called New Harmony in Grayskull. Let's see. Still nothing. Except for this one radar thing. I think I found the literal forgotten EF4 from this thing. Like, there is zero footage of it. Like, I know, yeah, most of the other tornadoes, like, every other every other tornado has footage, at least some damaged photos, or anything of it. But I have found the first, well, I don't know if people already know this, but the, this is one of the tornadoes that there is no existing photos of online from what I can see so far. Why is that? Let's try, oh, Collegedale. Just come out with. Okay, let's see. Uh, that was the last EF4 of the night. The second to last. Okay, Tennessee. Cade's Cove. That might be it. Show closely late, 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 Cade's Cove. On this other TN It's not even on the wiki. What the hell? Not on the wiki. Why? Uh. Is this the? Yes. Oh, there we go. First footage. Footage. I found footage of it. Oh my god. Hallelujah. One video. Let's bounce. That's a Cordova. Now, if. Oh god. That's a Smoky Mountains tornado. But where did Hamilton? Oh. Was that? Oh, okay, I know what that one was. That was uh, ALTN. That was. That was not. It was had to be Flat Rock. No, 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 it was Georgia into, it was Georgia into, oh my god, it was Georgia into Tennessee. That was what it was. Uh, it was Ringgold. Yeah, that was Ringgold. Yeah, I, oh my god, there's no footage of uh, Dunlap. Why? There should be photos of it. Except for one video. Here we go. There we go. There's your damage. There's your damage right there. That that's your, that's your damage of it. But uh, I just don't understand the why why is this this mildly infuriating.
Ah. Uh, okay, then that one's there. Just gonna have to wait here, because, uh, I really... Uh, I gotta give some examples now. Alright. No one's watching this. Oh. Okay, so. We are a really popular outbreak. My God, here's another good example. Do any of you know Tipton? Tipton, Oklahoma. Tons of storm chase. No, 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 no. no, there's some good photos out there. Yeah, look. There's some great photos of this tornado out there. But not even a single person think I uh, remembers it for some reason. Like, look at this. This was, I think this was it right here. I'll just keep checking where it's somewhere in here. Nope, I found it. This was it right here. This this tornado right here. This was a pretty decently strong tornado. Look at that. It went right up north. And yeah, wow, look at that. That was an EF4 tornado in Tipton. Back in 2011. Not even a single person dares to even talk about it. Because I don't remember. Also, this moves me on to my next topic as well. Why? Just why? Just actually no one talk about, like, any tornadoes from 2011 besides, like, some of the EF4s and all the EF5s. Like, oh, people say, oh, this tornado, this EF5 tornado is forgotten. Have you even heard of Hubert Hubert? <laughs> Have any of you even heard of Hubertville? Y'all are probably going to say no because, all again, there was like so many EF3s that happened and a couple EF4s that just no one even dares to mention but like Camp Creek like one of the towns I think that got majorly hit it got hit twice that day not even a single person mentions it like it's, it's upsetting mildly to me like, I'm still randomly bothered about April 2011, but let's, let's move on to another year that has the same exact issue. 2012. Oh boy, does it have a big issue with its things. If the same issue with 2011 happens with 2012 as well. The only thing 2012 is like remotely the only tornado that even you know is known in 2012 is Henryville no one know like a few people know West Liberty and a few people know Sawyerville and that's you know just like uh, no no sorry could, could, it's Crittenden. A few people know Crittenden, I think. I don't know if they do. And a few people, like, some people, I think, know, um, I don't think barely anyone knows about this one. Carrier Mills, Ridgeway, Illinois. Barely anyone knows about that one. And even the, no one, like, forget, like, a lot of people just 
brush off the high risk. The Selena EF4, the long tracked EF4 for Selena. You know. The day two high risk. That, like. It's just forgotten and upsets me, I think. It just upsets me. Because. There was another, you know, Greensburg tornado as well. This, like, there's. Yeah, it's, Like, there is a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of tornadoes that just, like, as soon as they happen, like, they have a few days of relevance, gone. Like, this issue is, happens, has happened every year since, I think, starting in 2000... No, 1999, this issue started happening. Like, no, actually, 1995, I think, like, before the 90s was, like, a, a few signs of it. Like, you know, they talked about this tornado mainly, but, like, at least a few others were mentioned. Like, and or talked about mildly. And then, like... 2007 came around. And just, I think the whole thing switched up then, because... Uh, you know, Greensburg this year, Greensburg 2007, the literal next tornado and day after, the next tornado after Greensburg had an even stronger tornado that, like, it was an EF3, but, like, it was way stronger than Greensburg. It, like, it was EF3 strength, went over an open field, even wider than Greensburg, and not even talked about. It's the same thing as the day after. Like... Good lord, the next day after, I think, was absolute chaos, I think. Like, there was a total of... <sighs> they had, like... Oh my god. Uh... No, that same day, actually, had about, like, man, Like, three EF3s that not even talked about once. The next day had, like, two EF3s. You know, you know those... those don't, aren't mentioning that makes sense. But, like, at least talk about the tornadoes that happened after Greensburg. Please. At least when you're doing, out, like, you gotta, you, you gotta manage time properly for this to work. And, you know, I don't know why no one's doing this. Let's go back to here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, uh, in 2007, Elliot is also mentioned. The July F5 in Canada. But like, again, I have an issue with like, oh, like one of the most famous tornadoes from 2007 that was relevant for years was just forgotten completely over the past few years, because this was an EF2 that hit the Bronx, I think it was. Yeah, no, it hit Brooklyn. Two tornadoes hit New York City. Something that has not happened since, I believe, 2010. Yeah, 2010. And this was a very famous tornado, like, look at all this. The first one in 118 years. Not even a single mention in uh, modern day, because, like, it's weak, it's an EF2, boo. Like, uh, I don't know how to 
you know, I, I need someone else in here to talk with me about this stuff, because uh, there's so much I can ramble on about my issues with this. It's kind of and then uh, kind of infuriating. <sighs> like, you know, 2008. Move on. Another good year. Uh, January, you know, large outbreak, nothing to think. Super Tuesday. Uh, actually, I have not seen any Super Tuesday. There's bound to be. There's gotta be someone to the to Super Tuesday 2008. Really? How? Okay, what? How is there no documentaries about this outbreak? I'm shocked. Actually shocked. Because the only one I see is from Alfieria. Like, this day was pretty insane. It was a February outbreak. Had, like, how many? 5EF4s and 5EF3s. How is there not a documentary about this? Like, it, it hit Jackson, Tennessee. There was a Jackson, Tennessee EF4. There was a long-tracked EF4 in Arkansas. How? How? Like, even Atlanta doesn't even get as many mentions. Like, again, that's how Furia that mentioned it, by the way. And then... All of 2008 focus just goes to Parkersburg. I think. Who's least somebody's at Parkersburg. Yeah, look. That just confuses me. Never mind then. 2009 was the, the uh, okay. I'm, I'm I'm guessing the exact same thing that 2008 happened with 2009. Because like, who here even remotely remembers Murfreesboro? Who does? I know Murfreesboro. Like, what Lone Grove? Surely the same issue can't be said about the same issue can't be said about 2011. Surely. I mean, I, there's a Storm Chasers kind of documentary on it. That's the only one, though. But, how? The same issue is with 2010. Are you kidding me? Like, people just skip over 2008 through 2010 and didn't focus on, like, one of the widest tornadoes in history. I don't, know, I don't even know if Hallam has a documentary. And they, they skipped over Yazoo City, the, the, the 2010 tornado. And well, I skipped over Bodie as well. 
Or Norman and Moore. They probably skipped over that as well. They're like that's mentioned in the, the 2013 one, but like I think from 2011 on, it's just you know, there's a brief period of 2011, 2013, and like early 2000s where you know stuffs mentioned. Like you know, these had these tornadoes. And then it just skips over years and doesn't even remotely recognize some of the stuff. Like, 2011 to, 20, 2011 to 2013 is the biggest of these um, documentary years. Because you had some famous, famous tornadoes. You know, you have Hattiesburg, which is, I've, yeah, and that has storm stories on it. You have Washington. You have, you have, you have Washington, Illinois. You have more Oklahoma. You know, this was... I'd say this is one of the better years for documentaries, but I still had issues with it. Because, like... You know, you did cover... Uh, you know, you did cover... Um, more. And El Reno. And all that. But, like... Norman EF4 from, like, the exact day prior... Uh, you know, stuff like, look at this, Norman McLeod, EF4, half a mile wide, yeah, half, I'll let, a quarter mile wide, EF4, May 19th, the 19th of May. Exact day after, more Oklahoma happens. The whole world just forgets Norman ever happens, and they've already forgotten Rosal, Roselle, and just focus on more in Newcastle because oh, it's May, it's May, it's May nineteen ninety nine all over, May third all over again, whatever the saying is. But like, it's a mob mentality issue, as well, because this this tornado happens. It sometimes over the shadow, overshadows the whole year. It it ugh, it's angering mildly. And then also, the next issue pops up with November 17th. Washington, Peoria. The big bad tornado of the day. Y'all forgot something. I think New Minden's missing out. And so is all of these other EF3s that is not mentioned in this list. I think since like no one's gonna join this, I'll just end the stream here.